Hey there students, it's Miss Adams, and in this video we're going to learn about the empirical rule in assessing normality. Alright, so the empirical rule is also known as the 68, 95, and 99.7 rule, and it states that roughly 68% of the data lie within one standard deviation from the mean, 95% lie within two standard deviations of the mean, and 99.7% of the data lie within three standard deviations of the mean. All right, so we have a normal distribution, and we are going to go ahead and go three standard deviations above and below the mean. All right, the mean is going in the center, which is mu, and then as I move to the right, I'm adding one standard deviation every time. So I have mu plus one sigma, mu plus two sigma, mu plus three sigma. Sigma represents the standard deviation. As I move to the left, I'm subtracting one standard deviation each time. All right, 68% of the data are plus or minus one standard deviation from the mean. 95% are plus or minus two standard deviations, and 99.7 is plus or minus three standard deviations. Now I'm going to take that normal distribution and I'm going to break that down into each little piece, like how much is each of those sections worth. So if I have 68% in the middle and I divide that by two, I get 34 for each section. Then the next section goes out to 95. Well, if I have 95 and I subtract out the middle 68% and I divide what's left by two, I get 13.5. And then I have 99.7% if I subtract out the middle 95% and I divide that by two, I get 2.35. And then under the curve, I have a total of 100% because the area under a normal, under any density curve is one. Uh, so 100% minus 99.7% divided by 2 gives me 0.15%. So now I have each section, what percent falls in, each little section. All right, so I'm using that empirical rule to answer this question. Golfer Lexi Thompson is one of the top golfers on the LPGA Tour. The distribution of scores for each of the more than 700 rounds over her LPGA career is approximately normal with a mean of about 70.6 strokes and a standard deviation of about 3.2 strokes. Use the empirical rule to answer the following question. So I'm going to start by drawing this normal distribution. So 70.6 is the mean. As I move to the right, I'm adding a standard deviation of 3.2 each time. As I move to the left, I'm subtracting a standard deviation of 3.2 each time. So I went ahead and drew that normal distribution. Now I'm going to use that to answer these questions. What proportion of Thompson scores are greater than 73.8? If I go to 73.8, greater than, I'm shading above. So I can add all those sections up together. Or I can think about it as 100% under the curve minus the 68% in the middle, but then divided by 2 because it's really only that one section only on half of it um, and we get 16% or I could add the 13.5 plus the 2.35 plus the 0.15 and get 16% that way. All right, what percent of Thompson's scores are between 64.2 and 67.4? So between those um, I can go back and look and see exactly that it was 13.5 or I could do 95 minus 68% divided by 2 we get 13.5%. What scores, what score is at the 16th percentile of the distribution? All right, so I'm going over, 16th percentile is the percent less than, so I'm going from the left over to where I have 16% and I wanna know what that number is. All right, so a, a score of 67.4 is at about the 16th percentile of the distribution. So I did 0.15 plus 2.35 plus 13.5, and that gave me about 16. So that is where, um, and that was at the 67.4 strokes. Alrighty. Um, the final score of the 36th floor routine during the NCAA Women's Gymnastics Championship was were recorded for a recent year. A dot plot and the summary statistics of for the data are shown here. Is this distribution of scores approximately normal? Justify your answer based on the graph and the empirical rule. So, first of all, the dot plot is skewed to the left with a noticeable outlier. So I'm leaning towards probably not, but I'm going to check to see if 
approximately 68% of the data lies within one standard deviation. So I'm going to take my mean, which is 9.86 plus one standard deviation, which a standard deviation is 0.11. And I'm going to do the mean minus one standard deviation. And so when I add and subtract a standard deviation to the mean, I get 9.75 and 9.97. So then I'm looking at my dots and how many dots do I have that are um, between 9.75 and 9.97. So if I count the dots on the dot plot, I have 32 out of the 36 dots that fall into that window of 9.75 to 9.97, which is 89%, which is not very close to 68%. Um, and then I'm going to check again for two standard deviations. So the mean plus two times my standard deviations gives me 9.64 to one or to 10.08 which is 35 out of the 36, which is 97.2, just getting closer to 95%, but it's still not super close. All right, so we would say this is not approximately normal because the percents are not very close to the 68, 95, 99.7 that we would expect in a normal distribution. All right, thanks, and see you next time.